I'm Coralie, I'm one of four new interns at Socially Powerful Media. So today we're meeting up with fashion blogger and influencer Tarawa Tillen. She's just going to let us know a little bit about what it means to be a blogger, what it means to have a successful blog, how it's been so successful, the evolution of it and maybe just give us a little bit of an insight to what it means to be an influencer as well. I don't really like to class myself as an influencer. I kind of, I like to be called like a blogger yeah. and like I'm not changing the world with what I do, I know that. The reason I started the blog as well was because I've never had an older sister and I've always wanted one. Oh, okay. Like I've got an older brother but yeah. I can't borrow his clothes. Oh, no. So I've always wanted to have an older sister so I was like there must be other people out there who want an older sister. Yeah. And to look I, up to and, yeah, yeah, and I kind of wanted to be that person that people can look up to and come to for advice. Like so nice. That's such a nice like <laughs> origin. So that is why yeah. I started and like I will always remember when I was 14 years old, like one of my cousins took me to go and buy like my first makeup bag yeah. full of makeup and like for me that was like oh my god, yeah. amazing. Like I had the best time of my life. <laughs> and like I wanna be there for people to be like, oh like I don't know what to wear today. Yeah. Let me see what Tara was wearing. Yeah. Maybe I can like, oh, she's wearing a shirt and jeans. I've got a shirt, I've got jeans. Yeah. I can wear that. Just give them a bit of outfit inspiration, yeah. definitely. Because sometimes like you do get into like this whole, like just wearing the same thing and yeah. you get bored of what you're wearing and you just need to see something and like it just sparks something oh, inside you and you're like, oh, yeah, just I'll change try it up that. Bit, yeah. yeah. What do you do sort of from a day-to-day -day basis with your blog and your Instagram? So it depends what I've got on that day, but say I'm shooting, so I'd go out in the morning because that's when the best light is and no one's yeah. around. And I'll shoot all my photos and then I'll go back home and I'll start editing them and preparing them for a blog post. And depending on when that post is due, I will start writing it and editing in that sort of order. Okay. So, do you have sort of like, do you set yourself deadlines about when? Um, I try to blog about two or three times a week, but because I've been travelling so much, it's been so hard recently to keep up with that. And what is the reasoning behind that? Um, I just feel like you have to stay current all the time and it's always great to have new content and to be able to inspire people on a daily basis. So would you say it's important to have a blog when you're aspiring to be a journalist? Uh, yes, I think. Yeah. Because I think everyone kind of looks for that online savvy person now. So yeah. if you were to go and do it, like a journalism degree or just want to work in a magazine, it would help, I think, push you forward because you have that online presence and you're going to have your followers go and read what you're writing on that particular magazine. So I think that it's quite wise to have a blog. And it shows you're interested as well, yes, doesn't exactly. it? exactly. Yeah. So for the blog, nine times out of ten, I use yeah. my DSLR. And for Instagram, um, I either use my Google phone, because the camera is really good on that, yeah. or I just upload like blog shots from this. So how do the collaborations work usually? Usually they'll email you, and nine times out of ten, it's they've got something in mind. Yeah. So recently I worked with Herbal Essence on a hair campaign about their new range. Yeah. So they emailed me, they're like, oh, we really like to work with you, we really like your profile, we just want an Instagram shot, and they're like, it's all quite floral, so if you can incorporate some flowers in your photo. So I was like, sure, so I had this idea of lying down with my hair spread out, having a few petals, and then having the product there as well. Do you keep relationships with those brands as well, so they come back and... Yeah, them? personally, I prefer working on a long-term basis with yeah. people because it shows that authenticity to your readers. And it's like, it's not me just trying to flog a T-shirt every other day, it's like a different <laughs> brand. Who do you usually get to shoot your photos for you? So usually it's my mum, she's like my number one photographer because I still live at home and it's just easier to yeah. be like mum let's go out and shoot today. Sometimes brands they want really quick turnover, Yeah, definitely. so that's great or like if I'm with my boyfriend reluctantly I make him do it. But like oh, today's like today where it's like planned, uh, this is my friend Ola. 
and um, so we met up for lunch earlier and then we just shot each other's photos so she wanted a few brand collaborations I had a few so. So what do you do? Are you an influencer as well? Uh, yeah, I blog also. I don't really do YouTube like Terrell does. I try to vlog as much as I can, but I just feel like engagement is so much higher on Instagram, so yeah. I'm kind of putting most of my focus onto that. Um, and so yeah, that's what I do, and then we just help each other out with pictures and things like that. Lovely. Yeah. So do you focus on fashion as well? Is that where you uh, help each other out? I think sure of fashion. I recently have been focusing a lot on travel. Um, so I guess if you do put the two together, it's kind of like a lifestyle page. Yeah. So how do you feel about the Instagram now? I'll making you put a hashtag ad. I like it. Yeah. I think why not? Why shouldn't people know that I'm getting paid to sponsor this? Yeah. And I think it just creates this whole um, openness yeah. within the whole industry. Because it's usually quite obvious anyway. Exactly. Nine times out of ten, like who's going to sit there holding a product <laughs> like this if it's not paid for? Like, come on. No, definitely. But I've noticed you don't, it's very authentic in what you do. I try yeah. to because I hate those pictures like that, oh, no, honestly. Too by your team. Yeah. No, like no. when it's more natural in like in the right setting or yeah. something. Like earlier we went to shoot something for Ola oh, okay. and we were in the bathroom and she had perfume and like it fit. Yeah. It's not her not random, place, yeah, yeah, it's not out of place at all. And it just, it looked so nice, like it was the right lighting yeah. and everything. Have you got a few go-to poses that you? Um, it's the looking down one, <laughs> that one, as always. Hair in the face. Yeah, hair in the face. And just like, oh, I don't know there's a camera there, but <laughs> it is. I think as you go on with your like vlogging career yeah. as well, you kind of learn what works for yeah, you. Definitely. And it does get a lot quicker as well. Like what I think, angles yeah, and you how know to what stand. angles you want and where to go and where to put your hand. Because I think the hands are the hands hardest are so thing. Awkward, aren't they? It's like especially when you're holding a bag, you're like get this random claw, <laughs> and you're like, what? You have to fix the oh claw. My God. How long do you usually spend like selecting a photo? Does it take long or is there always one that you know There's is like two be? processes for me. Right. So I go through them all on iPhoto and then I delete the ones that I don't like and yeah. then I upload every single photo onto the blog. Okay. And then I write the blog post and then I re-delete oh, right. okay. photos that I don't like. Yeah. So it's down to the 30 that I like. And I guess when you're writing as well, you can see which ones sort of like exactly. go in it better. Yeah. I'll see you next Tuesday, yeah? Thank you so much, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Same place? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. All right, guys. Bye. 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 Lovely to meet you. Have a good day. So, yeah, I've just literally increased the brilliance and uh, gone down on exposure. And then I just sharpen it a little bit with the definition yeah. and stuff. And that's literally all I do. If people really wanted like a highly edited image, they'll just go to Vogue or something. Yeah. So I feel like bloggers do need to stay true to who they are. The majority of the time my clothes are from the high street, but I've always had a love for designer shoes. So I usually have designer shoes and designer yeah. bags. So I think it's like a nice little mix. Yeah, definitely. So, cause it's catering to the girl who likes that little bit of luxury, yeah. but they still can't afford it. And I always believe in um, saving up for staples. So like a nice pair of black heels and a nice black bag, like it's gonna last you for ages. Definitely, and then they go with everything. Exactly, well. exactly. Yeah. Do you feel like there's been a decline in popularity with vlogs recently? With Yes, I feel like Instagram has taken over yeah. the whole vlog thing and you don't need a blog to be an influencer yeah. anymore. Like you can just have an Instagram profile and brands want to work with you if you've got a good following. Yeah, definitely. So vlogs definitely have declined. And I actually wrote a blog post about this and I was like, for me, I will never get rid of the blog because it's where I started. Yeah. And I don't know, because I enjoy the writing so much yeah. as well, I feel like it's just, it's always going to be there for me. What I've learned from meeting Terrell today is that blogging is still very important, especially in fashion, and that definitely Instagram is now much more of a platform for her, but the blog will always be important to her because that's how she started off and that's what made her successful. There's actually a lot that goes on behind the scenes just to make that perfect shot. Well, that's all from me. I'm getting a drink. Hi. Oh my God, so many people.